In this video, I'll be teaching you guys exactly how to pass a prep from funded challenge guaranteed using ICT concepts. I'll be giving you guys a step-by-step -step mechanical strategy to actually follow in this video, which will guarantee a prep from funded pass straight away. Now, I'm not going to be here talking all the bullshit. I'm going to tell you exactly how it is, right? What you should be risking per trade, the whole plan to actually pass in a prop firm challenge. And I'll be going off the basis of FTMO challenge with the, where the first phase is 10% and the second phase is 5%. Now, if you guys don't believe I'm a prof uh, profitable professional trader myself, join the free telegram in the link below where I share my payouts, where I've had multiple, multiple payouts. Um, I share my trade breakdowns. I give trade breakdowns. I've literally just come back from Dubai as well. Um, this is our at. If you uh, want to drop us a message for any help, we've got so much value in our free telegram and whoever comes from YouTube, we will pass it. Prop from challenge completely free of charge. I hate if she prop from challenge completely free of charge. If you say that you've come from YouTube just in celebration of my payouts and how we have grown so rapidly. So do join the telegram in the link below. So much free value for you guys to join. Now jumping into the video. I know a lot of you guys have taken funded challenges after funded challenges and failed so many, but I'm here to actually fix that for you. Now what I want to go over is the sort of rules you want to be approaching to when you actually start a challenge. I'll tell you about the strategy side of the video just shortly um, after actually talking about the tips and tricks that can actually help you with actually taking an approach to a prop firm challenge so i'm going to write all of this down for you guys make sure you guys also take notes as well okay guys so first things first okay guys one you want to purchase a funded challenge that you can actually afford okay guys now, this is very, very important. You need to purchase a challenge that you can actually afford, not something you've been saving for a couple of months just to blow on one funded challenge. Okay, guys, you need to be comfortable. You need to be in the most comfortable state and when you are taking a prop firm challenge. Don't worry if it's a smaller account. Capital will handle everything. Okay, guys, once you become profitable on one account, you can literally just rinse and repeat, get the refund and purchase a bigger account. Okay, guys, the aim of the game is to get funded and get payouts. Okay, whether that's a 10k account or a 100k account. So the first things first, purchase a funded challenge that you can actually afford. Okay, guys, you don't want to be scrambling for money over the last couple of months, saving every single penny that you get just to be able to blow on a 100k account. So step one, purchase a funded challenge that you can afford. Now, step two, this is going to be a little, little bit controversial. Now, a lot of your mentors won't tell you this. You guys need to understand, yes, you can trade for, now there's unlimited time limits. You can trade three, four months, right? Take your time to be able to get in a funded challenge. But listen, guys, we need to make money. We need to change our life. And imagine you're risking 0.5% per trade, right? You need to get to 10%. That's like, you're going to have to literally win 10 trades in a row at one to two risk to reward ratio. That doesn't even take into account where you take losses and, um, your psychology might be affected. So what you want to do is you're going to be risking 1.5% per trade. Okay, guys, 1.5% per trade. Now, a lot of guys will be like, what? Why am I risking so much? Listen, this is the challenge phase. The live phase is a whole different scenario. And I'll have a whole different um, video on that later. But during the challenge evaluation phases, you must risk 1.5% per trade. We're not here to spend a year just trying to pass a challenge. We need to pass, rinse and repeat the strategy, rinse and repeat and get as much capital as possible. So you need to trade, uh, risk 1.5% per trade. Now imagine for a one to two, that's already 3% gained. And uh, let alone with the strategy that we had to trade, most of our risk through ratios are one to three, one to fours. So passing a challenge for myself and my clients is an absolute breeze. Okay, guys. So step one, purchase the fund, the challenge that you can actually afford um, over and over again. Now, step two is going to be 1.5% per trade. Okay, guys. Now, step three is um, if you, sorry, if, oh, sorry, second phase, step two, three is going to be second phase. You can Now, second phase, you can reduce your risk to 1% per trade, just purely based because you only have to get 5%. So it's not really going to be that much of an issue. 
but you guys need to in understand the importance of this risk we are risking this much purely based on the fact that we need to get this challenge passed and done the life phase you will not be risking this much but on the challenge phase it is mandatory you can even risk up to two percent i might even put up to two percent for you guys okay so 1.5 to two percent per trade now this is the approach you're going to take to every funded account it's very important listen i'm not here to beat around the bush 0.5 percent per trade isn't going to get you anywhere you're going to be there for months or months just trying to gain it could be 10k account up the risk and you have to take this risk sometimes okay guys now um let's jump into the strategy side of the video right um I'm going to be teaching you guys a very straightforward strategy that I use um, to actually become profitable. So first things first, what are the timings that you're actually going to be trading this uh, strategy in? So it's going to be um, London Open Kill Zone. That's 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. Now that's New York timing. And then we're also going to be trading New York Open Kill Zone, which is going to be from 7 a.m. till 10 a.m. Now the pairs that you can trade this with is going to be Euro USD, GBP USD, and gold. Gold is my personal favorite because it always offers one to three, one to fours. Now the strategy consists of liquidity sweeps, uh, mark shush, shift, order blocks. Or fair value gaps, and this is how simple the actual um, strategy is going to be. Okay, guys. So the timing I'm referring to is New York timing. So convert that to your local timing, or if you want to change your trading view time zone to New York, toggle the time zone um, window on trading view bottom right corner, and change that to UTC minus four. Now ICT does always refer to New York timing, so just me doing it is just a bit more easier for myself. So first things first, you're going to pick out your session that you're going to be trading. Now, one thing I do always say is if you win a trade in London, just close your laptop for the day. Don't even trade New York. No point giving the profits back. Now, London Open Kill Zone, right? Mark out your London Open Kill Zone. So, for example, 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. Now, here comes the strategy side. What you're going to want to do, right, you're going to let price do exactly what it wants prior to your session. Prior to your session, you have no interest in what the market is doing, okay, guys? So you have zero interest in what the market is doing now. However, let me change this to red. Sorry, black. Now, once your session has begun, you want to mark out your areas of liquidity. Now, I do have a whole video on liquidity on our YouTube channel, but um, to put it in the simplest form, simplest, uh, form right now, so it's just going to be the obvious highs and lows. Now we're going to do this on the 15 minute time frame okay guys let me actually add on here the time frames oh 15 minute and five minute so in the 15 minute you're gonna uh, mark out your liquidity area now when your session begins you're simply gonna wait for price to do exactly what it wants now once it has swept either side so if sell side liquidity gets swept what's on the sell side buy stops so we're going to be looking for buys if your buy side liquidity gets swept under above our buy, buy, buy side is sell stops okay so here our sell side's been taken now we are looking for buys now once liquidity has been swept we're going to jump into the five minute time frame and we're going to seek a market structure shift it's as simple as that bang now we've seen that this high has been taken that is a market structure shift okay guys um now once that market shift has happened, nine times out of ten, there will either be an order block or a, um, a fair value gap. So either one, pick whichever one. I do personally like my order blocks. Mark that out. Now, on the so the retracement into the order block will be your entry in which you then target opposing liquidity and close that for profit. And it's very, very simple. You guys can see it's such a straightforward strategy very very clean very straightforward i've given you guys the approach to take for funded challenges i've given you your whole strategy this video alone could possibly make you um profitable guys okay so i also want to explain before i do share a live example 
Do join our Telegram again. Whoever comes from YouTube will be passing a HFT prop firm for them, 100k, 200k for completely free of charge. We share payouts, um, chart breakdowns, so much free value within the Telegram. Um, so do go ahead and join that. This is our if you do want to add, uh, message us for any questions and stuff like that. Now jumping back into the video, I'll be showing you guys a live example. Yes, guys. So I'll be showing you guys a live example now. So first things first remember what i said on the 15 minute time frame you want to mark out so first of all i do use this indicator sorry um which actually marks out my kills on session so this is the london session as you can see 2 a.m till 5 a.m and then the blue is the new york kill zone which is 7 a.m to 10 a.m if you want to use this is literally called kz oh, kz boxes um by david and then these are my settings if you want to sort of copy the exact same settings that i have very clean indicator just helps i don't actually have to mark anything else so here this example will be in the new york kill zone so first things first i'm going to mark out the low of london um nice clean significant low and then i'll mark out this high now it depends whichever one gets swept first is dependent on what way i'm going to be looking to trade so let new york start first of all so new york has started now let price do whatever it wants and as you can see sell side liquidity gets swept and when sell side gets li liquidity gets swept what's under sell side liquidity buy stops so we are now looking for buy stops we jump into the five minute time frame now we understand that that has been swept we can take away this now we need to see a market structure shift so firstly we're gonna identify where's the uh, nearest market structure so we have this um high here we want to see market structure get shifted through this high unless another high gets formed so there it is, we've had a market structure shift. Now, remember what I said, we need an order block or a fair value gap. It's totally down to you guys after back testing, you guys should be able to sort of pick which one's your favorite. I do like using order blocks. Uh, in this example, we can use a fair value gap. As you can see here, we've got a nice fair value gap here. Literally an order block alongside it as well. So you can literally mark out the whole thing, both two, just even better confluences. Now, all we've got to wait for is just a retracement into that area. You can set a limit order there if you would wish, or you can simply just manually trade it yourself. Now, as you can see, we've tapped in to our area. This is where I'll look to execute, place a long there. I'll have my stops just under the area, which is an order block or fair value gap, and I'll be targeting opposing liquidity, so potentially this high here for just a one to almost a one to three. And as you can see, price literally zaps tp and i could have even gone for an extra external for a nice one to three you guys can see here imagine with a 1.5 wrist and literally two or three of these trades a week can get you it can really pass a funded challenge for you guys so that is the strategy very straightforward um remember guys do join our telegram in the link below um tons of free content in there tons of free value payouts um trade ideas um, again, a free HFT prop firm pass, 100k, 200k, we will pass completely free for you guys, just to celebrate our most, um, my most recent payouts, were, which were personally my biggest ones, over $15,000 in the last two weeks, uh, but do join that, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and um, yeah, thank you for watching.